fine. No, stop. Stay away from me. Or I'll bite my tongue off. What a mighty girl. Don't touch me. You better not move. Otherwise, you'll... Ugh. I feel a sharp pain in my heart. I can't move for a moment, bearing the pain. Season is that way to me. The two men close in on me. Cut it out. Some people just don't know when to give up. Now stay still. No! As I struggle to get away from them, thorn twisting around my body stinging. Every little movement I make leaves more scars, causing me so much pain, but I can't help but try to escape. I never thought it would come to this. Of course, my own curiosity got from the bottom. Of course, I cursed my own curiosity from the bottom of my heart. I have worked as a witch for years in a small village called Nuan, apart from my parents. Long time ago, witches were said to be a symbol of evil spirits. But nowadays, the word witch has come to mean woman who can formulate medicine and, formula and perform a magical spell of some sort. In other words, I make medicines or cast smoothing spells and on people. Soothing spells on people. These things are my daily work. There are two things women in my family line have inherited the family. <laughs> power to see the future. A scene from the future form just pops up in my mind and goes away. It's rather strange. It's nothing sophisticated though. I have no control over the power. I can't see the future on my own now. The only thing I know is that I see is an event which will definitely happen sometime in the future. I've realized that the power has been getting stronger since two days ago. I have been seeing visits more often than ever before these days. What came into my mind is a vision of the forest near Bay McGillig. Far into the forest, there was a castle. And it came all familiar men. Every time their figures appeared in my mind, I always heard a strange song. Finally, I couldn't form the visions anymore, and I had to decide to enter the forest. Hey, Yuki, you are beautiful as usual. Where are you going? Hello, I'm going to pick up some medical herds. Medicinal herds. Uh-oh, it's too dangerous to go inside the elusive forest alone. I can escort you if you want. I'm fine on my own. Thanks anyways. Having casually exchanged few words with the villager, I entered the forest. Although he was kind and caring, I had no intention to take him in. A door forest. People call this place the Delusive Forest. The name said it all. I soon, I soon lost a sense of direction. Encircled by all tree by tall trees, I frantically walk around completely lost. Jeez, what should I do? The faint light that had broken through the trees was now completely gone. My intuition was alarming to alarming me to leave, but I absolutely had no clue which way I had come from. It was so kind of sudden. Just when I was about to wit's end. Ugh. Scenery around me was wiped out by bright whiteness. I know this feeling. This is what happens when I see the future. Two men were staring at me, standing in front of a castle. At the same time, I started to hear a strange song. This voice is the same strange song. Soon 
as I tried to listen carefully, everything went black this time. After I see the future, I was completely airheaded. Already knowing this fit would soon end, and soon, I sat by the nearest tree and took a deep breath to calm myself down. I'm fine now. I opened my eyes to see the darkness ahead, even thickened. I don't know which way I should go. As I tried to think of a way to get out of here, I looked around. Something black is hiding in the corner of my eye. What is it? The black object was wriggling in the darkness. I walked towards it curious in, in curiosity. As I grew bigger and bigger. Is this more big lump of something? No. Other than that, I noticed the small objects were shaping into a big lump. There were numerous red dots in it. Bats? I think red dots spotted me as I muttered. As soon as I realized the red dots were the eyes of the bats, I started dashing the opposite direction from the lump. I ran. I ran for my life. Having made sure that the bats aren't chasing me anymore, I could finally stop running. I was breathing hard from spreading. All I could do then was try to regain my breath, looking at my feet. Finally, I lifted my eyes from my feet. My breath was taken away again by the seemingly spread in front of me. It was an old castle that seemed to rot away at any moment. I felt a sense of deja vu because I had seen it many times. Are they in the castle? Does the song come from here? I should go find out. I looked up at the castle. I held my pendant. I suddenly took the hunted treasure handed down to me, tightening my hand to get close. Then I slowed my hand on the gate. This is going to be a lot of fun. Hello? E excuse me? The door unfolded a gorgeous scene inside, unlike its outward appearance. Is anyone there? I called out loud, but nobody responded. Silence covered the entire castle, and there was no sign of a human habitation. Nobody lives here? But still, it seems to be in good repair. The hallway and the handrails of stairs were even nicely polished. I might find someone in other rooms. Having a ray of hope, I decided to go look around the castle. A human girl, huh? I hope she won't be a trouble. What's this tasty smell? Ooh, I'm so ready for it. Uh oh. Don't sweat over me. I'll behave. Although I searched in the castle for a while, I haven't met anyone yet. Am I alone in this large castle? It's kind of scary thinking about it. I slightly hoped to meet someone who lived here with Stan. Don't need to say that. I probably should get out of here. Just when I turned around. <coughs> Candlelights illuminating the hallway suddenly went out. Fox was in the complete darkness. It's dark, and I'm so scared. Fearful fear dominated me. Hey. Do you hear me? Someone had come behind me. Before I knew it, it petted me on the shoulder. Well, I was looking for someone living in the castle. This encounter only gave me fear itself. Hey, don't be so nervous. You look so tasty. But I won't eat ya right away. E eat? A sharp cold feeling laid on my neck terrorized me. N knife? Because of the way he was, the word knife promptly came up in my mind. Ugh. 
Ugh. Cover my mouth with his hands. He must want my outgoing spoon. Don't make a fuss. It's only cause a big. It'll only cause a big trouble for me. I can't breathe. My consciousness started fading just before I passed out. I heard something drop on the hard floor and footsteps coming toward me. Now, am I tied up? When I opened my eyes, my body was tied around by thorns, so I couldn't move freely. Where am I? God, thank you guys for watching this video. That's it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, uh, subs uh, like and subscribe.